For cops, the bond shared with fellow officers can be their closest relationships. They trust each other with their lives. But on the night of January 20th, 1995, a few police officers in Tucson, Arizona, realized just how far those feelings can go. Officer Jennifer Will Stokes as a dog handler in our area. She was flagged down by a been assaulted with a gun. Somebody pulled a gun on me, took my wallet and everything. What? Oh, there it is, right there. That's it. That's it. Oh, it's going south now. Police helicopter pilot Tim Vesley was a 19-year veteran of the force. We were getting towards the end of our first flight, and we heard Jenny come on and says that she has a suspect vehicle. And just about that time, we saw the van. And we're right there. Once we get on a car, we own him. He's ours. I saw this blue streak past me. And you just get this, this tickling in your stomach. You're like going on a roller coaster. It takes your breath away. Officer Dave McAdam began pursuing the suspect's van. The guy had no intentions of ever stopping. He didn't give a darn whether people were walking across the street in front of him or not. Total disregard for everybody else in the entire world. The van made a sudden right turn into an apartment complex. We knew that there was a fence to the rear of the complex, so there's nowhere to go. This is where it's going to end. I watched with wide eyes as it drove down a 12-foot drop into a dirt wash. Okay, he's down in the wash, moron. We're going to chase him now. Um, this guy drove down in this wash. He, did, he absolutely has no idea where he's going, and, and now he's stuck. We got him. And then I was just amazed. He drove up the other side. He's already shown us that he's not worried about sticking a gun in somebody's face. And now we're thinking to ourselves, wow, if this guy would do this to get away from us, what else is he capable of doing? I was just monitoring the radio. They're advising officers to be careful because the van was trying to ram the other police officers. And I see all these emergency lights. Officer Armando Gallego was on routine patrol in the area. And before I knew it, here comes the van. And he just blew right by me. Just going about 60 miles an hour. Is now I was praying another car wasn't going to come get T-bone. I just couldn't believe it. I said, this guy's, this guy's crazy. This guy's, you know, he really wants to hurt someone. We could tell that he trashed his van. And I hate to say, well, this is the end of the line because <laughs> he's proven me wrong twice so far. He had slowed way down, so I kind of backed off too. I didn't know what he was going to do. Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Out of the corner of my eye, I see this officer Stokes arriving. She grabs her dog, Dax, and runs into the alley after this guy. We've done a lot of tracking with the dogs. We're very confident in how they chase suspects. Now what we do is the helicopter follows it and the dog goes after him. I see Jenny and Dax going after the guy and we're explaining exactly what he's doing and where he's going. The dog takes off after this guy like a heat-seeking missile.
I stopped dead in my tracks. I could see flashes, and then I saw Jenny fall backwards like she had run into a, a glass wall. We're looking, and we're calling on the radio, and we couldn't find Jenny. Try to get her on the radio. You know what, let's get another unit down here. The next thing I saw was the guy running, and uh, I, I watched the guy throw the gun, and he crawls underneath a tree, and he's not wearing this dog anymore. And it, right then, I knew something was terribly wrong, because once these dogs get on you, there's only two ways to get them off. You can hit them with a 16-pound sledgehammer, or you can shoot them. As we came around, I could see the dog on the ground. Shot the dog. He shot the dog. Obviously, he's hurt, and there's blood everywhere. So, but I... So... The, the guys, the guys underneath the tree. He's not, he's not a big concern. The dog's down, and uh, we. Uh, we can't find Jenny. Rescue nine one one will continue.